As I've reviewed many comments on my video about yoga, while I was very happy to see that many understood the wickedness of yoga, I still saw that there were many others who still did not completely get it. Now I'm not speaking of the people that wanted to overgeneralize it as harmless stretching, but the others that did not recognize the spiritual and religious aspect of it, not seeing what the true issue and problem is. I did a video years ago that spoke on this topic, but it wasn't very good, and I believe that this subject needs to be understood. If you follow this channel, you know that I strongly believe that we are in the end times. We are entering a new world order, a time where the world has transitioned from being under a Judeo-Christian world order to a satanic Luciferian world order. In a new world order, the world is no longer under the rule and worship of Elohim, but now Satan is being worshiped as God and the world is now under and accepting his doctrine and values. For more understanding of this, please watch my video on a new world order. In this coming new world order, the whole world will be drastically different. But one thing that needs to be understood right now is the spiritual and religious aspect, because this is the transition that is happening as we speak. Remember, I just explained that Satan will be worshipped as God, and the world would accept and be under his doctrine and values. This doesn't happen because of war, economic collapse, and political turmoil. This happens through carefully engineered marketing campaigns that have promoted his doctrine and values as normal and practical. What was once good would be looked at as evil, and what was once evil would be looked at as good. The misconception is that everyone believes that this will come under a general acceptance of the religion of Satanism. That when this happens, everyone will label themselves as actual Satanists who worship the devil. But this is not true and where the problem truly lies. Because even some Satanists would tell you that they do not worship Satan, but that they worship themselves. And more importantly, they worship lawlessness, being able to do what you want. Aleister Crowley sums it up as, do as thou wilt, which apparently Jay-Z agrees with. But their philosophy is, do what you want. But even that will not be the general belief accepted by the world. Satan does not want people to just to do what they want. He wants them to do what Elohim does not want. There is a very big difference. And Satan will not come in his name. He never does. He comes under an umbrella of deception that masks who he is as he has done throughout world history. The world will not come under a belief of Satanism and it will not be forced into conversion of Islam. These are all misunderstandings. The religion and belief are actually being accepted right now by the masses and this is what we need to discuss. It is very subtle and highly deceptive and it's a high probability that you have been exposed to some of its doctrine and have maybe even agreed with a view or two from it. The Antichrist or Anti-Messiah cannot come about until the world is ready to accept him. Like I said, he's not waiting for the world to convert to Satanism and or Islam. He doesn't need this. What he needs is for the world to reject the values of Elohim and accept his values. He doesn't care whether you worship him by name. He's the author of deception. He has many names. What he wants is for you to worship him in your heart. And he has introduced a new religion that has been made much easier to accept for this wicked generation. It's called the New Age religion, and I will discuss it with you now. Let's begin. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 says, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things comes the wrath of Elohim upon the children of disobedience. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 33 and 34 say, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of Elohim. I speak this to your shame. You see, the New Age religious movement will be the religion of the Antichrist and the New World Order. Again, this is the simplest understanding to have on this subject. It is a religion that leads to worship of the Antichrist, who is the beast of revelation, the abomination of desolation. The New Age movement does not come in the form of traditional doctrine as, say, Christianity, Islam, or Judaism. There is no unified belief or practices. They typically do not label their churches as New Age. You will not find an official leader such as the Pope for Catholics. They do not have an actual structure of an organization. It is not what we know today as organized religion. It does not work this way. It's more about the doctrine and beliefs, more than the label. In his book, The Kingdom of the Occult, Walter Martin says this about the New Age. In the turbulent decade of the 1970s, an explosion of occult knowledge occurred, saturating the Western world with the potent seeds of new perspective. A strange blend of 19th century spiritism, mysticism, and humanism. 
It took the name, the New Age Movement. It quickly evolved into a bolder, more organized revival of ancient occultism. It was a new title with an ancient goal. The penetration of all areas of culture, political, educational, and religious, with man at the center of the universe. From the beginning, the New Age sought to undermine Christianity and destroy the revelation of Elohim, as it is given to us in the Old and New Testament. It embraces everything from astrology to tower cards, seances, and Ouija boards. It encourages attempts to penetrate into a dimension of spiritual reality that Elohim has forbidden. At the core of the New Age philosophy is the integration of all religions, practices, mythology, superstition, and the occult. With all that inclusion, there is a main exclusion. It refuses to bow the knee and worship Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel, and our Creator. The New Age movement consists of a massive network of groups that all work towards one desired goal. The main goal of the New Age religious movement is bringing about reign and worship of a one world leader who will control a world government. He will bring enlightenment to the masses. He will bring peace to the earth and show people how to live in peace through him. They refer to him as the Christ or Maitreya. They will accomplish this goal in many ways, but one main specific way is to bring about acceptance of all religions and beliefs, but at the same time directly blaspheme the doctrine of Judeo-Christian beliefs. This blaspheme sometimes is very direct, but a lot of it is very subtle. So subtle that if one does not put on the full armor of Elohim, they may be swayed by this philosophy. You see, in New Age philosophy, you can believe in Jesus Christ, just as long as you don't read your Bible too much and really practice what it says. The roots of the New Age religious movement stem from Eastern religions like Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, to name a few, and of course, the occult. New Age religion comes wrapped up in a package of self-help, self-esteem, and self-reliance. This package often marketed, presented, and sold by figures that many people aspire to be like and or achieve the same successes. Through all of this, a major idea, thought, and belief is generated in one's life. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Messiah, which strengthens me. The New Age philosophy subtly removes Messiah from our thoughts and makes us believe that we can do all things if we just believe it and will it to be so. It's the power of positive thinking. It's the secret. Yes, the secret was New Age philosophy, completely. Our media, education system, entertainment, and other influences other than the Holy Bible make these ideas, thoughts, and beliefs become a new doctrine of our lives. Many also don't realize that they are accepting a religion because it has not been presented in this way. It only seems as if it's a way of thinking that will bring about certain positive outcomes. We never realized that we may have replaced some core traditional value that we should have held on to. Oftentimes, this core traditional value is trust and reliance in Elohim and not in ourselves. And it has been replaced with trust and reliance in yourself and not just in Elohim. New Age doctrine can be summed up into enlightenment, illumination, reaching a higher consciousness, being the best that you can be. You know, all that sounds great and harmless to the trusting general public. I mean, why shouldn't we want to be the best person we could be? Why wouldn't we want to reach a higher level in our lives? Why wouldn't we want to know the best ways to become successful and live like the elite? Through this new age doctrine of self-help, self-esteem, and self-reliance, we replace Elohim with ourselves. We put the burden of success, peace, love, and happiness on ourselves, slowly but surely releasing our reliance on Elohim. We are now gods, and our mission is to obtain a higher level of consciousness. When you hear it, it does not sound like a religion, just a way of thought, how to change your thinking in order to obtain success and have better relationships. This higher level of consciousness is often referred to as Christ consciousness. The blaspheme that the New Age promotes is that Jesus was not the son of God and just a prophet that had a message. They claim he was able to do all of his miracles because he reached the top level of consciousness. This is what Christ consciousness is. Only the Christ, who they refer to as Lord Maitreya, will return and teach us all how to get there. This is blaspheme. The point is that this is what self-help and New Age doctrine leads to. The Antichrist will be the Lord Maitreya because he will seem to be able to fix the world's biggest problems. Because he seems that he is able to do what nobody else has been able to do, he will eventually be worshipped. 
like a Superman type figure. New Age is not just a thought that people subscribe to. It is the sum of thoughts that people subscribe to. It is a religion for the New Age, also known as the Age of Aquarius, which is prophesied but yet to come. These same general beliefs are practiced by witches, Freemasons, pagans, Satanists, Uriba Priestess, Baha'i, Christian Science, Unity Churches, and many more. What unifies the New Age is the foundational belief that there are many equally valid beliefs and techniques that enlighten and liberate an individual. Not all groups use the same terminology, but they respect one another and focus upon unity and diversity. You've heard this many times before, but probably not explained like this. A proper phrase of this thinking is, whatever works for you. They believe in many different paths to the worship of the same God. As a believer in the Messiah, aka Kodeshim, aka Christian, must be very careful in today's modern churches. Many churches are sprouting up, coming under the mask of Christianity, but are acting subtly teaching doctrine from the New Age. And many older churches are converting their doctrine to appease the public and to not lose membership. In the words of my favorite poet, Sean Carter, For those over 45, that's Jay-Z. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey herself has been called America's pastor. She has taken the New Age movement into the world in great strides. Her channel is completely New Age. She has promoted the New Age movement to the masses through a book club and spiritual lessons. Her program, called Life Class, is completely New Age teaching from stars. They teach us their techniques of using their New Age principles, and we adopt them as just being a better way of thinking. All of those teachings are New Age philosophy. This clip is just one of her many times where she promotes the wickedness of New Age and directly shows the blaspheming against Yahshua. Say Eckhart uh, uh, gave you a different way, or reading the book showed you a different way to look at Jesus Christ? Yes, absolutely. How so? Um, I've always um, tried to find a, a deeper inner connection with the purpose that Christ had here on earth. And all my life, I, I thought it was just for him to die on the cross for my sins. But I now recognize that Jesus actually taught me Christ consciousness is who to be fully human. Hello. is to be Christ-like. <laughs> yeah. And so it's not uh, uh, any time that you uh, not follow your spirit spiritual calling that you are lesser of a human. Yes, I'm Christian too, and I got that a long time ago. Uh, I was, mentioned this also in this book uh, called um, Discover the Power Within You by Eric Butterworth, where he talks about the Christ consciousness. And up until then, I was like you, Margit. I thought Jesus came, died on the cross, that Jesus' being here was about his death and dying on the cross, when it really was about him coming to show us how to do it how to be, yes. to show us the Christ consciousness that he had and that that consciousness abides with all of us. Yes. That's yes. what I got. Yes. That's yes. what I got. Yes. Thank yes. you. Understand, Satan is the architect of all New Age spirituality, and he uses people, many of who are sincere and dedicated. They stand in direct rebellion against the authority of Elohim and his word. They have no desire to acknowledge the true Messiah, Yahshua, and Yahweh's plan of salvation. So from this, they reject what they label as Christianity and promote the New Age movement, which instills that the best understanding of a deity is to know thyself and become aware of the Christ consciousness inside of you. It's so deceptive, but the way that they present it is even worse. Whenever you hear someone refer to spirituality, if they are not speaking of the Holy Spirit, they are referring to New Age beliefs, and you must be mindful and wary of this. This thought is like a cancer that will grow in your mind that will guide your path and take Elohim out of the driver's seat. Beware of it. There are many different buzzwords and terminology you will hear that will let you know that what you are hearing is part of the New Age religious movement. I have placed a link to the buzzwords in the description box of this video. That link will provide you with many different references, topics, subjects, and the words that are associated with New Age religion. A lot of them may shock you. It is very difficult to go over and teach you everything that is included in the New Age movement. But some of the articles on my site may give you a good foundation that you're able to identify it. It's very subtle, and if you do not know the word of Elohim, you can easily get swayed by it. It's not marketed to us as dark evil thinking and practices. It's taught to us as a way of illumination. 
Even that word is dangerous because this is what Lucifer is. He is the light bearer trying to bring his light to the world. One thing that needs to be really understood and grasped is how they use the power of positive thinking. Do you remember when Donald Trump told everyone he was a Christian because he used to go to Norman Vincent Peale's church? The author who wrote The Power of Positive Thinking? And I go to church and I love God and I love my church. And Norman Vincent Peale, the great Norman Vincent Peale was my pastor. The Power of Positive Thinking. Everybody's heard of Norman Vincent Peale. He was so great. He would give a sermon you never wanted to leave. Sometimes we have sermons and every once in a while we think about leaving a little early, right? Even though we're Christian. <laughs> Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, Frank, would give a, survey, would give a sermon. I I'm telling you, I still remember his sermons. It was unbelievable. And what he would do is he'd bring real life situations, modern day situations into the sermon. And you could listen to him all day long. When you left the church, you were disappointed that it was over. He was the greatest guy. And then, you know, he passed away, but he was a great, the, the, he wrote The Power of Positive Thinking, which is a great book. To someone who doesn't clearly understand the New Age and its terminology, this might have just seemed fine. But this is just New Age teaching disguised in a mask of Christianity. So let me explain it, because I'm sure that many will come against me, just like in the video about yoga. People want to overgeneralize the content of my video as if I told them that they shouldn't stretch. It's ridiculous. So I'm sure others will love to overgeneralize what I'm saying and misquote me by saying, I said don't think positively. That's not what I'm saying. So let me explain it because this is a mindset that has been taught to us over this generation and it seems like it could only be good. I see a ton of life coaches today, particularly Christian life coaches, that teach this not understanding this is a form of new age philosophy. The danger in this teaching is not about thinking positive. It's where the source of the power comes from. I can always think positively that Elohim has got my back and is always my source and I can do all things through the Messiah which strengthens me. That's thinking positive. That's having faith. But in the power of positive thinking, the power source is ourselves, not Elohim, our creator. We tap into our power of our own minds to create a new reality for ourselves. In page one of Dr. Peel's Power of Positive Thinking, we see believe in yourself, have faith in your abilities, this is the kind of thing that can really deceive many because it sounds like good advice, believe in yourself and in your abilities. But this is not what we are taught by our creator. This is what the enemy teaches. We are not taught to believe in ourselves, but believe in Yahshua and be led by the Holy Spirit. In his book, Positive Imaging, Dr. Peel says, there's a powerful and mysterious force in human nature, a kind of mental engineering, a powerful new old idea. The concept is a form of mental activity called imaging. It consists of vividly picturing in your conscious mind a desired goal or objective and holding that image until it sinks into your unconscious mind, where it releases great untapped energies. When the imaging concept is applied steadily and systematically, it solves problems, strengthens personalities, improves health, and greatly enhances the chances for success in any kind of endeavor. The ideas of imaging has been around for a long time and has been implicit in all the speaking and writing I have done in the past. You see, Dr. Peel's spirituality was a blend of Christian science and mind science teachings with a dash of Christian terminology. What he is teaching is an occult teaching of visualization. Visualization is repeatedly and consistently creating a very clear mental image of an object or goal desired. It is taught that if you create the image with enough fervor and mental clarity, it will help the thing to occur in reality. T.D. Jakes, who is very much like Norman Vincent Peale, teaches this concept as well. In the insert of his book, Instinct, The Power to Unleash Your Inborn Drive, he says this, Regardless of where you are in your life, it's time to align your actions with your instincts, the inner wisdom of who you really are and what you are made to do. You have been divinely equipped with a fundamental drive to realize your life's potential. He is teaching new age philosophy. Mental imaging or visualization is a common practice in the occult. One holds an image in their mind and as they envision it each day and meditate on it, it becomes clearer and will come to pass. This technique is now used for healing traumas that are emotional, cancer, and other diseases. One sees the cancer or disease being fought and conquered and essentially leaving. This is a form of spiritual manipulation. 
What is not explained is that when we practice these things and meditate and focus upon these things, we are calling upon spirits to help manifest this. We are taking the will of Elohim away and attempting to force his will with our own persistent thoughts. In the Adun's prayer in Matthew chapter 6, it says, your will be done. But in our visualization, we are attempting to force his will because of our own desires. And what happens is we are not calling upon his power, but of spirits and demons who have a false deceptive power. But this is new age teaching. It's not about the will of our creator, but about our will and using spiritual power conjured up in many ways to bring about certain results. You will see this everywhere. Take a look at the first game of the NBA this year when Boston Celtic Gordon Hayward came back from last year's season ending injury. You talked about the visualization of this moment. How did the reality compare to the visualization? Man, it was so good to be out there. You see, they talk about visualization right in front of you, but you just think it's a normal harmless thing. They just presented new age occult teachings to the masses without telling you they were doing so. They promote it as it being a good thing. There's a lot more teaching that should accompany this because there are so many beliefs and practices lumped into this new age philosophy. That's why it's more important to know the truth and stand on it so you do not fall for the lies that only sound like truth. The point I want to be understood is that worship of the Antichrist is already here. The majority of this world identifies with these teachings along with the teachings of the other faith. The spiritual aspect of the New World Order is already upon us. More people identify with these teachings more than they do with the true biblical teachings from the Bible. Now I know I threw a lot at you, and maybe it's hard to follow. Understand, it's supposed to be this way. If you ever speak to people that hold these faiths, they always sound confused because they're just borrowing a whole bunch of lies and putting them together. But I want to make sure you have some strong takeaways from this video because I know it could be very confusing. I may speak more on this topic in the future. But here's what I want you to remember. 1. The New Age movement is the religion of the Antichrist. 2. The New Age teaches Christ consciousness, which teaches that you can obtain the same level of Jesus if you learn to master your ascension as he did. Pure blaspheme. 3. The Antichrist will be shown to have reached the top level of ascension, and the world will worship him because of this. They feel he will obtain Christ consciousness. 4. All self-help books are all New Age occult philosophy disguised as helpful instruction for life. 5. Oprah Winfrey is a major promoter of the New Age movement. Beware of all the philosophy that you take from her. 6. Her channel is all about New Age themes. 7. Any celebrity teaching on her life class and master class programs are spreading new age techniques. 8. Make sure any philosophy you have on life is based on scripture and not on vain teachings of men. 9. Listen for buzzwords and terminology at all times to make sure you're not being presented with new age themes. 10. Guard your mind from all of this. It is all around you. You can't escape it. But if you know what you're looking for, you will not be swayed. 11. If your church embraces any of these themes, leave them immediately. How many times do you drive your car and see bumper stickers promoting the Antichrist? They don't actually say Antichrist, but they say tolerance with all of the different symbols of the different world religions. This is about promoting the Antichrist, promotion of all faiths, belief in all faiths. This is one world religion. When you say you are looking for world peace, you are looking for the Antichrist because this is what he promises and brings before he requires the whole world to get down or lay down, meaning take his mark and worship him or be done away with. Tolerance of all religions and world peace will only bring about rule of the Antichrist for a short period of time. There is no stopping it, so don't try. The only thing you can do is try to wake up whoever will listen and bring them back to the will of our creator. New Age religion consisting of many different beliefs and practices is the religion of the coming Antichrist. And if you identify with their philosophies, you must break away from it and repent. This again is deception. And I fear that a large majority of us have fallen for some of it over our time in this current generation. Please go to the link in the description box and review some more specific information in regard to the New Age and repent for anything you have blindly accepted. It's not too late for you until it is. Make the time now to make things right with the Father. Okay, thanks again for watching. If this has blessed you, please make sure you like and share this. Please share this with anyone that you feel may need to have a good understanding on this topic.
If you have not already done so, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to follow this ministry on Facebook and Instagram. I hope this helped you. Thank you again to all that donate and support this ministry. Thanks again everyone for watching. I love you all.